It's time for a Fiction Friday video. Welcome back to my channel. As always, I greatly appreciate the support that I get from all of you watching my videos, liking them, putting comments down below. I really appreciate you. I answered some questions recently in a tag video talking about Aesop's fables, and several people seemed interested in hearing more about them. So today, I give you Aesop's fables. My favorite version is by Jerry Pinkney, though there are a lot of different versions of Aesop's Fables. This is a simplified version, a version that is safe for children. There are some versions that are much darker, that are much harsher, that are more adult. I'll paraphrase from Jerry Pinckney's introduction to Aesop's Fables. The real Aesop was born a slave somewhere around the year 620 BC in the ancient Republic of Greece. He received his freedom as a reward for his learning and his clever wit. They say he died about 565 BC, but his stories were passed down with the oral tradition from generation to generation. Somewhere around the year 300 BC, a bunch of his stories were gathered together in a collection. It was called Assemblies of Aesopic Tales. We're not really sure how many of the stories attributed to him really came from Aesop, but I think you get the idea. These fables have moral lessons to them, which I think makes them wonderful for reading. I think they're great not only for children and teenagers, but even as adults to go back through and reflect upon and think about. To enhance this experience today in the video, I'm going to read you the second Aesop fable in this book. The first one is really the story of the boy who cried wolf, and there are some other great ones in here, like the story of the lion and the mouse, and the tortoise and the hare. A lot of stories that you probably know. This story that I'm going to read is the grasshopper and the ants. All summer long, a merry grasshopper spent his days making music. When he saw the ants marching past him in a line, carrying seeds and grain to store in their hill, he laughed at their toil. How foolish to work so hard in the hot sun, the grasshopper cried. Summer's the time to play and sing. There's time enough to worry about winter when the first snow falls. But when the days grew short and the first snow fell, the grasshopper could find nothing to eat. Shivering in the cold, he came to ask, Ask the ants for help. Please, can't you spare me a seed or a leaf, he begged. I'm too hungry even to sing. The ants shrugged in disdain. We worked hard for our food, and we have none to spare, they said. All summer long, you made nothing but music. Now all winter long, you can dance. The moral of the story is, don't put off for tomorrow what you should do today. And that's just one great example from Aesop's Fables. This book is full of these great stories. So I highly recommend it. And this version has fun pictures to go along with the stories. Unfortunately, a lot of other versions just have boring text with no pictures. All right, that's it for today's book talk. I hope you enjoyed hearing the fable. Every day is a good day for a book talk. Peace.